I'm Lisa Caroline, kid reporter for NASCAR, and this is Ryan Blaney and Bubba Wallace, and I'm going to be asking them a bunch about the science behind NASCAR. Nice to sure. He's Ryan. I'm Bubba. Yes. I'm in his fire suit. He's in mine. Okay. Can you guys tell me the three Ds of speed? Downforce, drag, demons. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I don't know, drive? No, it's the drag, downforce, and drafting. I'm no good at this. Drag, downforce. Mm -hmm. Can either of you explain how the spoiler works? Yes, I can. Thank you for asking. Uh, so, there's air. Yes. Okay? That's what's gravity. Someone gets some smoke and he'll it'll do this. Yeah. So the air goes over the car mm -hmm. and it sticks here. And this, if the spoiler wasn't here, the spoiler sucks the rear of the car down. So that's what the air pushes on the spoiler, which pushes on the deck lid, which sucks the back of the car. Which down. is called downforce. Downforce. In science, there's always an equal and opposite reaction. So if the air is pushed up, that is put it pushing the car down. I think I said that right. We'll check the facts later. <laughs> Next question. What about the roof strips? I don't know anything about those. These little guys. I know. Those are the ones you always bend over when you're pulling yourself in the car. <laughs> That's true. That's a great question. I have no idea. They just <laughs> are on the car and they look cool. Okay, cool. Do you know how the roof strips work? Um, I think any answer would be okay because Bubba didn't even give an answer. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they okay. actually, they're just, I mean, they're aerodynamic too, right? I mean, they're mainly side force, so these are pretty much acting like a spoiler, but they're just a different direction. They're both aerodynamic. Well, obviously. If you knew okay. the answer, you should have answered it. What about the roof flaps, these little guys? Oh, you get going backwards? Mm -hmm. Air gets under there. Oh, this is where you're in trouble. She wants to get airborne. Things get really quiet. That means tires are no longer on the ground, and you're probably going to flip over and hit something very hard, upside down, oh on my. fire, at the Daytona 500. That's what happened to me. Oh my. You never want to get airborne. Not a good, not a good sign. Yeah. Daryl spins out a lot, so he's used to these deploying. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for helping us learn more about the science behind racing. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.